You're listening to The Shiny Sofa, the official podcast from Latex 24-7, the premier online magazine dedicated to latex fashion news, reviews, and interviews. Hello, and welcome to episode six of The Shiny Sofa. Coming up on this show, we talk about Kylie Von Nam and Elisa Poppy Latex, our top tips for wearing latex in summer, and that recent barbecue trend. Joining us today is latest advocate, Janelle Corinne. There's amazing brand where you don't have to put out a lot of coin. You know, let's be realistic. <laughs> so take a seat on the sofa, make yourself comfortable, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and of course, via latex247.co.uk. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for episode number six of The Shiny Sofa, a latex fashion podcast brought to you by Latex 24-7. Each episode will welcome special guests and I'm so pleased to say that today we're joined by Janelle Corrin, latex fashion advocate, latex fashion tips, tricks and video content producer. Thanks for joining us Janelle, it's uh, great to see you. It's a pleasure, so happy to talk to you today. Brilliant, how are you doing? You're right. Uh, absolutely. Much better now. I'm on the shiny sofa. <laughs> well, make yourself comfortable and, um, yeah, well, uh, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll learn a lot about, uh, your background and, and, and your love of, of the shiny stuff. Oh, definitely. I have, um, some pretty exciting tidbits to share with you guys. Hopefully it's not too titillating today. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So here at the shiny sofa, we have to find out a little bit more about our guests and what makes them tick. For the segment of the show, we call the quick fire round. We have a huge list of questions which we feed into our random generator, and our guest has 60 seconds to answer as many quick fire, multiple choice questions as they can before the time runs out. Janelle, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Here we go. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Latex or PVC? Latex till I die. <laughs> Country or city? Country. Coffee or tea? Tea always. Elevator or stairs? Stairs. Winter or summer? Winter. Passenger or driver? A passenger or driver. Oh, I'm a passenger for a fact. <laughs> Pancakes or waffles? Mm, waffles. Mm. Hair up or hair down? Today, hair down. <laughs> Marvel or DC? Marvel. Large crowd or small party? Small party. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Harry Potter. Dog or cat? Dogs. <laughs> Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Flowers or chocolates? Well. Scary <laughs> <laughs> movie or comedy movie? Scary movie. Yes. Travel back in time or travel to the future? Travel back in time. And that sound there means that we've reached the end. I what? make okay. that that you got 18. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Which puts you in second place, I'm afraid, you know? Second place. So close. So close. So close that it wouldn't be gold, but... <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll be more prepared. Now I know. <laughs> well, there's, there's, there's a reason to come back again in the future. <laughs> I didn't stretch before we started, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the recent latex clothing and fashion news stories, which we've covered over on Latex 24-7 in the past month or so. Uh, first off, we covered... Uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Rena, um, who was doing some publicity for her new um, makeup and uh, lipstick brand. Mm-hmm. Um, and Lisa was photographed wearing latex uh, bodysuit, um, leggings, uh, latex gloves, uh, and, and also in a, in a separate image, uh, a full length um, black latex dress. Um, just phenomenal that someone that's 60 years old can can look so incredible in in, in that material and you know 
<laughs> just goes to that prove the that there's, 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 there's no barriers, no barriers whatsoever when it comes to latex fashion. One hundred percent, I totally agree. That was the that was the show shopping factor about it to me. That she's in her sixties. Yeah, she looks fabulous. Literally, I mean, from head to toe, just a, an empress in every way. And I think. Honestly, choosing to wear latex, first of all, it's a very high fashion material. It's a very, it's a material that a lot of times people tend to use for beauty campaigns. I think that yeah. this is not in any way the first time we've seen no. latex no. for a beauty campaign. Um, so it's, a, it's an easy choice, but I don't think that being a 60 year old woman to wear a full latex bodysuit at that, you know, because that's not hiding anything. It's, it's not. <laughs> No, so, so, no, I mean, right, that's true. Woo, right. Yeah, exactly. They're going to see all of the contours of everything. You're not. Yeah. No, no, no. Right. So I think for a 60 year old woman to choose to wear a skin tight latex outfit to me, I just feel like that's that's that is that is why I love latex and why I champion latex to this day, because it is an inclusive material. It is a material that anybody yeah. can put on and immediately feel up to the task, whatever yes. it's going to be, you know? Yeah. And she just stunned in that out. I yeah. love her in red latex. Beautiful, very powerful. Black, as we all know, it's definitely a very timeless, elegant color. We all love black definitely. latex. We just love it. Yep. Yep. So she, I think she, she, stole the show with that. Yeah. I, I, I hope that her campaign is extremely successful, honestly. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, and um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, fantastic to see that that inclusive inclusivity um, going on, and, and that uh, yeah, she can feel that she well, that a she can feel the confidence to do it, but b that she can then exude that confidence when she's actually wearing wearing the, the outfit and being photographed. Yeah. I mean, you know, she know she was wearing that outfit not like oh i'm gonna wear this to one party and then if nobody ever i'm just gonna throw this in the closet <laughs> we're gonna see it again. you know she wearing it for millions of people to see now yeah her whole body in latex yeah. so yeah i i think um it was it was a bold move and it was a fantastic move it was a successful move Definitely. because it just it showed us all of the passion and all of the reasons why you know you would want to shop her beauty brand because it is something that will make you look you know just as powerful and sexy as she did on that shoot <laughs> definitely yeah completely agree completely agree um talking of uh looking amazing um we also covered um fashion icon kylie van nam um who was uh, photographed wearing um latex 24 7 favorite eliza poppy um, mm -hmm. She wore a absolutely stunning white mini dress uh, from uh, from Lisa Poppy. Um, dress features uh, a quite unique racer neckline and, and crossover straps. And the thing that I really love about this image is the way that Kylie has has combined it with that white blazer. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's just for me. That's that's the summer look. There, that is that is yeah, fantastic. yeah. Um, yeah, elegant, sexy, um, but also extremely suitable for, for for wearing anywhere and everywhere, really. And to be honest, I think that it was a practical choice as well, because when you're wearing latex, as we all know, temperature control can be a factor. Yeah. So she was wearing a gorgeous Elisa Poppy mini dress, yeah. which means that, and she's out and about. I think she was in New York at that yeah, time, or in, was it looked yeah. like she was yeah. in New York. Yeah. So, um. You never know, like it, like for anybody that's planning on going out in the summertime in latex as well. You know, the 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 mini dress might be perfect for when you're outdoors and it's hot, but then once you get to the party in the club and now the AC is pumping, you might be freezing in that latex, <laughs> freezing in that latex. So oh, I think that the choice, the style choice that Kylie made that day, yeah. not only was it beautiful, not only was it timeless, not only was it very business casual business yeah. to cocktail perfect yes it was also practical as a choice and i think 
you know, that's something that we should all take into account that latex can be practical. Yeah. You could wear an outfit that all at once is a showstopper, yeah. is skin tight and juicy and all the things we love. But yes, you can do it in a way where it actually feels comfortable and like, you know, you just slip something on that day and just look effortless. Like like Kylie. Yeah. yeah definitely. Definitely. Something that could be worn from box for the whole day really couldn't it yeah yes absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. and she was out and about i think she was probably shopping or something to that effect so she seemed quite comfortable in the dress so i i would say yeah yeah definitely i mean it was gorgeous it was and, and i love white latex too i love when people really take that step out and try to do something unique with white latex as well yeah. so that was really cool to yeah. see completely agree completely agree um we also covered our top tips for wearing latex in summer heat. Um, not that I'm sure there was us in the UK know what summer heat is at the moment, but um, <laughs> it's humid. <I> guess. <laughs> <laughs> and we 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 cover the number of tips that uh, that we uh, we always recommend for those that are wanting to wear latex during during this time of the year, but maybe a little bit worried about the comfort mm -hmm. the comfort factor, right? So we covered it. We covered the options of keeping it lightweight. So wearing something very simple, a bikini top, mini skirt. Um, for the men, something just like a pair of boxer shorts or something that can be Absolutely. combined with, yeah. with, with plenty of other items. We also covered making sure you stay hydrated. Um, as, as many of us know, That's latex can cause you to, 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 to sweat. Um with when one's at 18 volts so yeah make sure you guys are filling up with water to replenish that yeah. uh, that liquid um dressing in layers which um kylie perfect example of that a moment ago yeah, absolutely yeah and also as well to avoid some direct extended exposure to, to sunlight because latex being a a living material doesn't always necessarily react to to, to long periods of, of sunlight and, and and particularly the uv um I really appreciate you saying that or, or bringing up that point in your article. And I definitely recommend all of the listeners to go back and read it again, even if they read it last year, because there's definitely new information being updated that it really is so critical. Um, I had never thought about that, that, um, that you are right, that we say this when you're storing latex, that you want to keep it away from direct sunlight. Yeah. I had never considered that if you're out in the about <laughs> playing in the summer sun, that could potentially influence your latex clothing, especially if you are wearing a unique color. If you do want to step out and do something different, or even I feel like black, I mean, anything could be influenced by the sunlight. Course, it's a living yeah. material, as you described it. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I mean, I would say, you know, uh, like for me, it, it, it was funny that you were mentioning saying hydrated because definitely during all of my live streams, whatever, uh, which I will do a lot. I, I'm, um, you guys might enjoy watching that. I do quite a few live streams by the pool just yeah. in my house in yeah. L.A. And um, I'm drinking gallons of water. I'm <laughs> drinking water. I'm getting into the pool with my dog. My dog likes to swim. He's my lifeguard. And <laughs> I'm like nonstop with the hydration. It's so it can get crazy hot, you know. Yeah. And and don't forget, like if you see yourself sweating, like if you're at the point with your latex wear where you can tell, you can see the the sweat yeah. coming out of your latex. Yeah. Now you know it's time to rehydrate. You yes. have to. Definitely. You have to. Definitely. It's an essential. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think it's a great summertime material. I mean, um, it definitely with a lot of the tips that you shared, like there's a lot of different ways that to make it much more um, sustainable to wear yeah. in, in hotter temperatures. Um, just like as we were talking about with Kylie uh, as well, you know, wearing a shorter piece or I, I mentioned this that, um, you know, wearing just a dress, yeah. opting for a latex dress versus a catsuit or a pair of leggings. It's such a great choice for the summertime. Yeah, such a great choice for the summertime. And if you're, you know, if you're more masculine identified, like a pair of shorts or, or something to that effect, very, very attractive, super hot, you know, it doesn't have to be um, a sweatsuit. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, definitely. As someone from California, you should know that better than anybody else, I suppose. But yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. <laughs> Sometimes I'm doing those live streams, and like where so um, we have we have a place basically outside of LA, and then we have a place in LA. So sometimes I'm doing those live streams, and I'm like in the desert, like it's literally like 115 degrees. Why I'm not? <laughs> it's so crazy hot. So uh, when I tell you guys stay hydrated, I mean it. Stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and finally we uh well we've we've, we've got to talk about um we really um wow oh. we've got to talk about latex barbecue are you uh, are, are you, are you, uh, are you barbie or oppenheimer am i oh am i am i a barbie or am i a world war ii physicist yeah. i don't know, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god also like why did they th- i guess because it was christopher nolan but that doesn't play that doesn't even matter these days it doesn't play it doesn't, no, I'm, sorry. It doesn't. I'm sorry i'm sorry look at the trends look at look at what's been happening guys it's like, i don't know okay but am i right bar i guess between the two i guess i'm gonna choose barbie yeah. but it's funny that you say that because i you know, I, I think Barbie mm-hmm. has always been a uh, controversial figure for yes. femme identified yeah. anybody, for yeah. fe- and especially for femme identified yeah. people, right? Because yeah. she's kind of our first, what would you say, like a gender I- gendered idol, right? Yes. That's kind of given to young girls, yeah. right? And especially for myself, like I was a 90s baby, so I definitely like all the bar, you know, yeah. Barbie, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's, you're kind of fed her, and I think for at least for me, for a lot of young girls, it's always like, okay, it's yes or no. Are you team Barbie or are you against Barbie? Do you love her or do you hate her? You know, one of the two. And so for me, I was always more of a tomboy, and I was always more like, I'm not an all pink kind of girl. I don't, I just never saw myself that way. But no. Now, you know, now I think that um the gosh, I've been really excited by everything that I've been seeing, all the creativity that I've been seeing with regards to latex designers yeah. and how they've taken the topic of Barbie and the theme yeah. and the symbols of Barbie and used it and kind of um used it to highlight all the amazing things that we love about latex. That's yeah. an extreme really fun for me to witness that i think lottie latex has been posting all kinds of songs with yep. like energy like kind of not like <laughs> definitely, definitely. yeah yeah <laughs> really we, cute stuff we saw we saw yeah we saw uh we saw pandora deluxe of course they've they've for many years um created barbie themed dresses um mm-hmm. uh shuka joe as well they've always they've they've done quite a few over the years oh yeah safe yeah both of those brands actually have always had a Barbie yeah. love for Barbie or love for characters like that. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's been part of their product range for for quite a number of years now, and um, yeah, it's been great to, to see those been out there at this particular point in time, and um, you know, and, and also also great to see some of the uh, some of the at the higher end brands like Atsuko Kudo. Um, who were who were featured at uh, the the London premiere of the Barbie movie? Um, yeah. The gorgeous uh, Monroe Burb doll, looking I know, phenomenal. She's such a hottie, right? <laughs> in, um, in in one of the dresses, um, and also uh, stylist um, Sammy uh, Sammy Jeffcoat, um, who was also there in Atsuko Kudo. Um, yeah, great to see that feminine empowerment on there on the red carpet. Um, for for such a for just such a prominent and um, worldwide exposure to to to, to, right. to, to the film yeah. and, and 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 to latex clothing in, in general, I thought that it was very interesting that so many people, or for that particular premiere, that so many people felt as though latex was the best way to bring about the um, symbolism and the imagery of Barbie yeah. and do it in a high end. Con- a, a red carpet context yeah. i thought that was an interesting tr- that so many people had that same thought so yes. many designers so many celebrities but to be honest i mean that's because obviously when we think about barbie we think about 
I think one of the first words is maybe like plas- plastic, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and even though latex is definitely, it's not, it's not plastic. It's a totally different material. It's rubber. But um, it does have that shiny facade. And I don't think that any material beats it. I mean, I know you have PVC, but for some reason, PVC is not it doesn't look it doesn't look like it doesn't look like barbie to me no. or some i don't know no. i don't know what no, to say I I don't, that. yeah, I agree with yeah. That. it doesn't doesn't have that that high end look that <laughs> right? that the the, the, the the barbie stuff tends to go for does it yeah right right and the skin tight yeah fits of la- like the seamlessness yes. of latex as well that i think also lends to like the uh, the flawlessness of barbie in a way you know yeah yeah that i don't think that other materials as we're talking about like pvc or uh wet look or i don't think anything i don't think it compares no. yeah completely, no. completely and just the variety of colors that you can get i mean that's been so much fun also to see because i personally i mean i bought one pink, or i bought a couple pink Okay, because I, I told you I've had so much latex experience or whatever. Big, yeah. Or it's been a, a long journey of me experiencing latex in different ways at different points in my life. Um, I've had some pink latex items in my closet previously, but I, I mean, I was flabbergasted by just how much fabulous pink latex sheeting there is out there. Like I didn't know like like the Atsuko Kudo dresses that you were talking about. Yeah. I know that um, Supertex, which I know at Supo, they they yeah. always use Supertex. Yeah. That's kind of their main supplier. I didn't know that they had all these fabulous hot pink and <laughs> sparkly. Gl- I had no idea, you know, because you're not usually seeing stuff like that. So that was also really exciting as well, just yeah. to have my eyes open to wow, like yeah, so much remarkable stuff. Such, yeah, it's such a diverse color palette available. It's um, uh-huh. yeah, uh-huh. If, you, if you can imagine it as a color. Chances are it's probably out there somewhere, you know. Yeah, even even, yeah, even, even, yeah. Go, even going for those difficult colors to get like golds and silvers and everything, you know, it's it's yeah. in, in, in latex and it's perfectly doable. Yeah, um, yeah. It's kind of like, and I think that's the whole Barbie mentality, right? If yeah. your imagination can take you there, you can be yeah. a doctor, you could be an astronaut, you could yeah. be in your Malibu how you could be anything yeah. you know and that is that is the the openness and the expansiveness as well with latex fashion yeah. so that was just amazing completely yeah. agree it was completely a perfect agree. perfect marriage of the perfect two yeah. Par- yeah. 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 yeah 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 cool fab that's built thank you Janelle well um we'll leave that there and we'll be uh, back after these short masteries okay wonderful thank you today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor Polish Latex Care that's P-O-L-Y-S-H on PolishYourLatex.com and Amazon. Polish is a new female-owned latex care brand based in the United States and is dedicated to popularizing latex in America. As we know, latex is a unique material that requires special attention to keep it looking its best. That's where Polish Latex Care comes in. This brand carries the essentials, cleaner, shiner, and dressing aid to ensure your latex stays healthy and shiny for years to come. The best part? Polish is dedicated to always being cheaper than the major competitors. Don't break the bank on your care products. Save your money for your next cat suit. So, whether you're a veteran in the latex scene or simply learning how to care for your first outfit, Polish is your go-to brand for all your latex care needs. With their affordable line of products, you can keep your wardrobe in pristine condition without spending a fortune. Make the switch to Polish today. Head over to www.polishyourlatex.com and use code COUCH for a 15% discount on your next order. Remember, that's C-O-U-C-H at polishyourlatex.com. The ultimate solution for all your latex care needs. You're listening to The Shiny Sofa, the official podcast from Latex 24-7, the premier online magazine dedicated to latex fashion news, reviews, and interviews. Welcome back to Shiny Sofa, the latex fashion podcast brought to you by Latex 24-7. Join us again this episode is latex advocate, Janelle Karin. Welcome back, Janelle. 
Thank you for joining us. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Good. So the first question I always like to ask people, um, and the first question I always think is the most appropriate is, when did you first discover latex fashion? What was it that sparked your interest? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Do I give the real story or do I just make something up? So, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, um, you know what? I think I was very lucky in the sense that um, I, I never, okay, I grew up in New York City. And so because yeah. of that, I was always surrounded by lots of weirdos and lots of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Lots of interesting, unique, eccentric individuals. And I grew up in a space where eccentricity was appreciated. It was encouraged. It was, you know, that's 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 the vibe. Right. So um, because of that, I, you know, um, starting from the time that I was in high school, yeah, I had been basically running around with my group of New York City club kid friends. <laughs> <laughs> when I was on I was high school, you know, and we used to go to all these different parties and events and what anything that we could get into, whatever, you know, so all different kinds of stuff in the city. Yeah. And um, the first one. Of, OK, so then one of my friends started like hooking up with this guy who I guess was a little bit more mysterious, had a little bit more layers to him than maybe the average guy. So. He started taking us to just a variety of different events that we'd never been to before and kind of introducing to us to a whole different community that I'd or a whole different side of the city that I'd ever mm -hmm. seen or witnessed before. And um, it was at, you know, some of these private events, these like private loft parties in Manhattan and, you know, <laughs> this type of vibe that I started that I, I encountered the first person ever that I ever saw wearing latex in person, um, I, I still remember it to this day because she was just so jaw-droppingly pow, you know, which I think a lot of people feel the first time they see latex. Yes, definitely. So, um, I was at a party and, um, you know, I, I think I actually released a YouTube video, like a makeup tutorial for you guys um, on how to do your latex hood. Uh, rubber doll looked perfectly and I was talking about this story so if you guys want to hear more of my drama definitely check that out um, but basically I was at this party some guy was trying to talk me up and you know finesse me and give me drinks or whatever and then he dropped it on me that like hey do you want to come to VIP to meet my girlfriend which I was like what do you mean like you have a girlfriend we're going to VIP this is a whole new world for me like the whole <laughs> scenario was just so crazy so okay then we did that and there was his there was a status there in like a kitty all black outfit yep. kitty hood stockings beautiful lingerie set with the garter belt suspender belt whatever you call it just yep. looking absolutely devastating and i mean <laughs> as you'll find out if you go ahead and watch that youtube video i mean it it didn't really turn out how i thought it would that evening so i didn't really <laughs> get to <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't get to explore. I don't know, whatever. You'll find out. But I didn't get to get in depth the way that I thought I would <laughs> want to get in depth. So because of that, you know, I, I had this kind of curiosity and this kind of question mark about latex that I'd, I'd seen it. You know, I yeah. had a curious had a curiosity about it, but I still hadn't really engaged with it. You know, and 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 kind of. Um, got my hands on it and, and and understood you know some of the different so many different ways to appreciate it both as like a fashion material as a definitely just, yes yeah as a power material as all these different things right yeah so okay it's my first time seeing it but then like um the first latex item i i bought or the first time i actually or you know what? I, the first latex item I bought was probably maybe like five years ago. And then I'd had like okay. quite a few latex, like just a dress, just a party dress, just to look, you know, hot or whatever, which I recommend yeah. to anybody. Go. <laughs> Great yeah. idea. Yeah. 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 But Good I bought it. that. And then um, I had some latex in the closet, but it's really been with the formulation of this new brand, with the formulation of kind of stepping out as not just a not just a model because i'd modeled for years but now really wanting to be you know um 
creating a, a community space for people that love latex and love latex fashion. Um, you know, creating like a, a plethora of, of advice and information and so on and yeah. so forth for people that want to learn more about how to style latex into their wardrobe and um, creating content and learning more about designers. Like all, like all of this has just, if anything, like now the latex like love is so cemented in me so it's it's been wonderful really like the the metamorphosis of how i've first experienced it experienced it again and now i'm even experiencing it anew again like 10 years later basically yeah that's great to hear yeah that's um yeah that 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 community element of it is 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 a really special part of, of, of the, the latex community. I think is is it's it's, it's such a um, such a welcoming um, group. Um, you know, the pe- people that actually have absolutely no uh, negativity or, or you know, the, 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 no, no no sort of body shaming to, to use that phrase. <laughs> you know, it's, it's yeah, yeah. Every, mm-hmm. absolutely anybody and everybody is is welcome. I so appreciate you saying that because as I've um, learned more about the material and as I've gotten deeper, you know, learning more about the community and everything, yeah. I definitely like I like to follow certain like I love to follow your podcast. I love to follow everything on your blog. I like to read, you know, um, latex subreddits. I love to yeah. you know just dig in and get to know what people are talking about. And so I, I do think that oftentimes people feel so much more confident and so much more empowered by wearing the latex much more than they would ever imagine, um, considering, you know, some of the ways that they typically feel on an average day. But what I, you know what, one of the most why probably why I love latex the most is because I think that it is an inherently powerful material it's always empowering no matter how you style it no matter what color it doesn't have to be all black as we were talking about with the barbie pink i mean it's it 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 just enhances and it always speaks to elegance it always speaks to style it always speaks to expense it always just looks you know as i said it's, it's it's empowering it's very empowering and so it's excellent for anybody who hasn't necessarily felt as uh confident wearing other types of clothing materials yeah yes completely agree completely agree it's uh it's a yeah, transformative has the word isn't it? It, it it literally will change the way that you view yourself and and in many cases it changes the the, the view that other people have of you as well um oh oh yes i actually the other like last week or something i was like out at dinner and i decided to put on a latex dress like a william wilde latex dress because awesome. you know, i just wanted yeah. to just pop something on yeah. and it's the summertime it's hot you know everything so i really recommend wearing a dress over like a leggings or something that's a little bit more constrictive <laughs> um, <laughs> please do wear a dress <laughs> okay so i put on this william wilde dress and it, you know i wasn't even really expecting very much it's beautiful it's a nice little sexy little black dress but yeah. i wasn't expecting very much Oh, let me tell you, uh, everyone at the restaurant, oh, miss, please come this way. <laughs> everyone at the restaurant, literally, we were getting dinner with my friend and like his friend and his wife. Yeah. The, the, the husband like got out of his chair to like pull the chair open for me and like he said he like his wife was directly across like the <laughs> shit. He just could not help himself. He couldn't help himself. And then, like, as we're leaving the restaurant, like, I'm getting into the car, and then some someone, like, across the street is like, I love that dress. Actually, I like what's inside of the dress even more. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely caused a scene with my latex, which is <laughs> what I mean. Lots of hitting, want- right? It's fabulous. You know, who doesn't want to feel like... I'm wearing dollars. such a slow stopper piece yeah. that, you know, I'm literally causing a splash. I mean, I think that everyone wants to feel that way when they put on their their Sunday best, Definitely. so to speak, you know? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Completely agree with that. Completely agree. Um, I was going to ask you what the best reaction was to that you've ever had to play <laughs> tickets, but I think you think you've answered that one already. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> we, we we often see you on on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, and 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 you're there not only wearing latex itself, but also combining that with more traditional details. You know, um, some material. Sorry, you know, be it maybe combining latex skirt with a with a, a a traditional top, or vice versa. You know, a, 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 a latex top with with a, with a pair of leggings or something. Do you think that's something that's actually accessible to to everybody? Is that something that everybody has the ability to, ability to do? Um, um, and yeah, yeah. What what yeah. sort of what's what sort of favourite combinations and, and tips and tricks have you? Oh have my you, goodness! Uh, I've so much advice. So much advice for you guys. So uh, I definitely recommend mixing your latex. Uh, pieces with non-latex items and I say that because part of the reason that we love latex so much is because of its shine I think that's yeah. the first thing that people mention whenever they're talking about what they love about latex right? of course yeah so one of the ways that we can enhance the shininess of the latex is by putting it against or layering it against a more matte material and more matte background something that's not shiny right yeah so um and what i love to do especially for any of those of you that usually have like a lot of black latex pieces which i think that most of us tend to go for but black is like the traditional color right gross yes so perfect you know take that black latex skirt that black latex legging that black latex harness anything that you have you know and just go ahead and pop that on with a traditional pair of black jeans a traditional yep. pair of like black cotton leggings um i actually did a uh which i don't know if i'm releasing this yet but um i will go back to posting regularly starting in september i'm just kind of building up videos for you guys basically um so i don't have to take another break once i do start posting <laughs> But um, yeah, so I, I did shoot a video where basically I took one little black latex mini skirt, and I'm yeah. telling you, this is like, you could get this anywhere. Any designer makes this. It's yeah. just a mini skirt. You could make it yourself if you wanted to. Yeah. Not expensive. I took one and I paired it with a pair of thigh high boots, like regular uh, suede thigh high boots and a little crop top and a barrette and made yeah. one outfit, a nice wintertime outfit with that. And then I took the same skirt and paired it with the turtleneck and a Burberry shawl and, you know, just a little belt, just, you know, it's just some action just to enhance the look. And having those, as I said, like the the shawl, like a, a cashmere or wool or jeans, denim, something where it's a little bit more matte, yeah. um, but also black mixed with black latex looks so timeless and sexy and it's so effortless you're not gonna have to think too hard because the colors match already you know stuff like that like just beautiful um also you know i totally uh recommend wearing like you know if you want to put on like a latex top even like a latex bikini top or a bolero or something like that sometimes i like to wear a latex blazer literally yeah. and it just it looks absolutely beautiful. And pop that on with a pair of regular jeans. And what's great about that is that it'll make it a lot easier for you to wear latex all day. Like, yeah. so now this is something that you could think about, okay, like I'm heading to work or, you know, I'm, I'm, it's a Saturday, I'm going out with my friends, so I know I'm going to be out all day. If you're wearing maybe just one latex item, but you make that the centerpiece of the outfit, then you could be a lot more comfortable, way less hot. And, you know, you don't have to necessarily spend as much or be as concerned about buying a thousand little latex accessories and details and X, Y, and Z to put together a full latex outfit, which can be challenging, like yeah. Yeah. extremely challenging. And there's a real cost barrier to it as well. Course, so, you know, definitely use the resources that you have available to you and then find those beautiful, you know, Piece of resistance, latex pieces that yeah. can really enhance the rest of the outfit. Those, those kind of signature pieces that will just become versatile and go with everything. Yeah, yeah. or essentials. You know, yeah. if you get a pair of gloves, if you get a pair of leggings, if you get, as I said, like a, like a mini skirt or something, yeah. if you have yeah. just those three things, like, yep. You're pretty much fine. I mean, <laughs> you can buy more stuff if you want, but you could 
be perfectly fine just starting with that and using that to slowly incorporate latex into your um, wardrobe. And I also hear quite a few people that are curious about latex, but they're just like, well, how am I going to put this on? When am I going to wear it? Uh, they feel like it's going to be a big pain. So definitely, you know, start with a smaller piece. Start with a mini skirt. Start with something that, you know, it's not going to be hard for you to put on. Start with a pair of gloves. Gloves, latex gloves have been the fashion accessory of the year, period. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. I think you actually just posted an article with, I think, was it Lisa Rinna or, or one of the women yes. from Housewives or whatever? Yes. yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 Wearing a gorgeous like red latex glove. And I don't even know. I think the whole outfit was latex. But my point is you could just have a nice opera glove. Yeah. And put that with a classic evening gown or something. You'd look sexy. If you're um, if you like to look in a more masculine way get a, a short glove like a driver's glove or something and a nice black t-shirt and a nice fitted pair of jeans you're gonna look hot yeah. <laughs> okay like super simple <laughs> <laughs> top tips i love those love those yeah so um taking taking those ideas into into consideration um what which which are your favorite designers um do you have any? Are you, oh uh, my goodness! Um, wow! Is, it, uh, is, 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 is there anywhere any any of these you would suggest would be a good starting point for people? Um, Absolutely, yes. There are quite a few designers that I love, and as I said, like through this whole process of trying to figure out what content I can create for you guys in between working on my films, yeah. um, it's been really fun. Like basically digging into all different types of designers that I never would have thought of working with before. Or I never would I never would have thought of even purchasing their clothing before. And what I um I've also been amazed by is there's so many different latex designers all over the world. There's no reason to ever feel like it's not accessible to you or you can't find it in your country or, you know, shipping is going to be too challenging. Yeah. I mean, there's so much talent all over the world as it applies to latex. So, you know, some of the designers that recently these days that i've been just loving off the top of my dome um cat house clothing please yep. do go and try out their clothes every piece is beautiful and the price points i think are really sure. affordable for the quality that they provide yeah. their customer service is also amazing by the way like i was being really annoying like i couldn't decide on any color for anything <laughs> and i kept changing my order <laughs> was being so irritating and she just kept emailing me and kept dealing with me she was so nice <laughs> <laughs> they're great would definitely recommend cat house <laughs> all the other brands that i really really like these days um oh there's another brand that i recently bought uh two latex hoods from um they're based in south africa which yeah. again like you know outlier typically to the market but they do produce really high quality stuff and yeah, as, as, i'm really uh, excited um i think i'm actually gonna be partnering with them soon so i'll have a like coupon code like a discount well. especially for you and for all your fans and everything like yep. that. So, yeah, e the brand is called Edenware Latex. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. They're great for hoods. Um, I bought a super gorgeous blindfold and a, a what would you say, gag, like mouth yeah. gag, um, yeah. kitty ear hood, like yeah. buckles. Every I mean, all the pins, all the bells and whistles on this thing. And it didn't cost me more than 70 USD. Wow. So I know for you, that would probably be like 50 quid. Yeah. So to me, <laughs> yeah. you Good can't time. beat Good that, time. you know, I, I mean, and, you know, for all of your listeners out there, of course, you know, I'm trying to tell you guys, there's amazing brands where you don't have to put out a lot of coin, you know, let's be realistic. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let to hook you guys up. You know, you have to put on all the coin in the world. <laughs> when you when, when you when you're just starting out, if that's the position you're in, then then you know, keeping that expenditure to the minimum is is, is a really vital part. It's good. I also I think you know what. Here's the thing. So there's designers like me myself. There's designers like I said, Cat House. Um, I'm not collaborating with them. Like with, I I. I spend my own money and I bought I bought that stuff from Edenware by myself as well. It's just yep. now we're, we're now we're, you know, having a conversation. So um, I, I spend my, my own money on a lot of these things. And I really 
do encourage you guys, you know, go for equality. Don't don't feel like, you know, I'm, I'm not discouraging you to spend, you know, I'm not, I'm not discouraging you from getting your fantastic rubber two thousand dollar cat suit. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying there's a lot. There's a lot out there. There's tons out there. And, you know, there's a lot of talented, really talented people out there. Um, Toxley Sex is another one. Yeah, that's absolutely Coast. amazing, which I do have a coupon code for you guys. It's Corinne 23. So definitely go shop their latex and enjoy that discount. Please do. So um, Tox Latex is amazing. What I like about them as well is that she like I, obviously I know the designer personally and uh, she really wants to create latex pieces that people can wear in public and feel very yeah. confident and feel very elevated, yeah. really luxurious yes. with the latex that they're wearing. She's based in Canada, which I think is really helpful for a lot of people, you know, um, it's shipping wise and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely fabulous. Um, in terms of other, I'm kind of think like other designers that I bought so much clothing recently. <laughs> I bought it's, so much clothing. That's what I'm watching, yeah. Just ask me, okay? <laughs> I know every designer at this point. Um. Oh, MM Latex. Yeah. Really would like to highlight them. Yeah. MM Latex is phenomenal. I bought um, I bought an item from them that I didn't even think I was gonna love as much as I did, but I loved it. I just bought like a like a uh, what would you say like a like not really a thong, but more like a like a high-waisted panty body yeah. i don't know something like that yeah, nice and a yeah. nice little gold belt that been the selfie that i took in that outfit that's been like my most popular photo like everywhere that i've posted and the fit of that particular like item that latex short that i got from mm latex i was so in love with the cut and the design and the way that they made it and the way that it fit my body so perfectly that awesome. i had to go back and, and buy more of their stuff so Really, also another really, really impressive brand. Um, and definitely, I mean, your latex directory, like a lot of these uh, brands I found through your website. So Good. I'd also definitely recommend people to, you know, use that directory. The information that you provide is so valuable. Definitely. I think we've got over 300 designers on there now. Um, oh, my goodness. A few more I need to put on as well, to be fair. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's quite quite phenomenal that when you start adding it up, how many actual brands there are out there, you know, it's uh -huh. uh, yeah, <laughs> far more than people, far more than people think. And as you quite rightly say as well, far more spread across the globe than people maybe think, you know. It's, right. um, if you, right. no, matter, no matter where you are, there's probably somewhere within one or two countries of, of your location know, yeah. where there's someone I've... manufacturing it and selling it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've even seen recently that I mean, this is not a designer, but it's called Rubber Minds, and basically, they're latex events that they're throwing all across South America. I think they're based in Colombia. So, I was just really impressed because it's you know, and, um, I've definitely. I mean, I've spoken about this a little bit myself, um, in some of like the live streams and stuff that I've done. Yeah. Um, because I definitely also love to show you guys new latex colors. I love to show you guys new designers. I love to answer all your little curiosities before you go and buy the latex that, you know, you really want to have all that important information about. Yeah. So um, I was like showing off some new colors because oftentimes I feel like it's really challenging to see just a variety in terms of like latex models and just samples of you know what is it going to look like on different types of people different body types different all all across the board on that one <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i i also think that um the good thing about trying out different designers and you know looking into the directory or or basically just the fact that's we're getting more designers from a variety of different locations is that yeah. you get more information and a little bit more diversity when we're talking about who's wearing latex and who's able to to access it, you know? Definitely. You? Definitely. So you've, you've, you've mentioned a, a few times about um, some of the content that you produce um, and that's partly uh, published on, on your, your brand, which is in latex.com. Um, and that's a, that's a, a website community um, where you discuss latex fashion, 
tips and tricks, uh, even, even reviews and, and review the garments and outfits that, that you have. Tell us a little bit about that. Do you know how, how, how did that how did that start? Was that was that a decision to 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 help raise the materials profile? Was it was it a, a personal journey? Uh, well, uh, what happened with that? Basically, within latex. Well, <laughs> as I said, it's it's very interesting doing this interview now because uh, this has basically been the first year where yep. I've really taking a deep dive into being a latex influencer and making all of my media just about latex fashion and yeah. so on and so forth. So um, the genesis of in latex and the latex in latex brand, initially when I started the website, you know, it was just as a way for people to access, you know, my information, the videos that I was creating, the video reviews I was creating, the unboxings, mm -hmm. all certain stuff like that. Yeah. But then I guess over time and as I kind of kept fleshing out the website, I started to realize and just, yeah, as I was fleshing out the website and digging into, as I said, I read a lot of subreddits. I look at all different information about what's going on yep. with the latex fashion community. I started to realize that there was just a big lack in terms of latex community, latex information, and just ways that we can engage with the material as a fashion material. Yeah. And in a way where, you know, it's it's just a pleasant, you know, friendly community vibe. You know, it's nothing that anybody has to be ashamed of or feel as though you know there's anything weird or fishy going on here of course, yeah. so when i realized that uh i was like okay you know i really and you know as i started to in my own work do more and more live streams and i started to recognize wow like people from the community really appreciate just being able to hang out together <laughs> and talk with each other and share information together um i started to transition in latex.com towards also including um blog articles so uh information about what's going on you know recently within latex fashion would just you know to stay help you all of you guys stay abreast with what's going on in the yeah. world of latex um and then what we're working on now is getting our discord together so we'll have like a chat room so people can actually stay communicating with each other stay talking to each other stay you know part of the community even when i'm not necessarily able to access all my fans which yeah. you are all of by the way um oh and this is another aspect of inlatex.com um the membership so once you do become a member of inlatex.com you do have the opportunity to access me and talk directly to me as well as talk to directly to all the other members of the website which is really fantastic and a lot of fun awesome um and access like even more, you know, reviews, even more detailed information and also some more, you know, personal, <laughs> intimate uh, uh, media and footage yeah. from, you know, my latex collection. So um, it's, I guess, initially, you know, when I first started it, it was just just a, a store in a certain way. Yeah. But. Now, as I am building and as I'm learning more and as I'm honestly personally getting more and more excited about being involved in latex and being involved in the community with all of you, like now it's becoming more and more of a community space of a space where, you know, everyone can kind of like yeah. hang out and enjoy the thing that they love safely, happily in public, you know? Yeah, it's um, never ceases to amaze me how you can you can meet you can meet a complete stranger um who happens to just share that that love and, and passion for for latex fashion um and before you know it the, yeah. the conversation hasn't stopped and and you know you, you you you've lost half an hour um yeah, yeah. that's that happens yeah. all the time it's 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 like it's a genuinely really unique um element to the community so the fact that you're doing something along that and bringing people together is is is, is phenomenal mm -hmm. yeah i think um yeah for as i said it's 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 interesting doing this interview now and and i hope that you know so at some point in, in the future we'll do another one because um it, as i said it's my it's my first couple months really digging into what what it's going to be and what's going to be the exact offering and mm -hmm. the exact niche, you know, that um, I give to the community. 
but um, it's honestly been absolutely amazing for me to interact with so many super kind, super welcoming people. And I think that if anything, what I've, as I said, what I've started to recognize through all of my interactions with just so many amazing latex fans, um, I think that there is personally for me and and I I you know I see my role now um, in the community. I think that there has definitely been a need for some kind of trailblazer to really, yeah. you know, contextualize latex in a mainstream context, and I'm just so pleased and 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 so grateful and so appreciative that you know um yeah the community is embracing me to yeah. you know enable me to kind of do that yeah so that's i mean that's really what i want to do with the website it's 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 just to give people another way to appreciate the material and understand the material learn more about it and you know connect with each other in a way where I, personally i feel like there's a huge there there's there's still this big i don't know barrier or or deficit i think of information understanding about latex as yeah. as just a, the beautiful thing that it is <laughs> you know um yeah yeah and i i i really hope that you know through the media that i that i create and the media that i'm going to continue to create and some of the more scripted stuff that um i think that next year i'll be shooting and then hopefully by 2025 releasing um yeah really really changing the discourse on that the conversation on latex awesome fab well we're we're, we're there for the journey as well so yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you What's the uh, what's been your funniest moment when you've been when you've worn latex? Oh my god, my funniest latex moment. Um, uh, maybe like falling on my face, <laughs> like <laughs> at a latex event. Like you know, because I, I told you I modeled a lot. I modeled for years, so I used to I used to do runway modeling, and then I had to like wear. This is probably when I first time was wearing latex on a runway. Yeah. Uh, and those lights are hot on stage. Can I tell you? So, <laughs> so the lights are burning. You are in a full pad suit. The sweat is just pouring down your body. <laughs> I was literally on a slip and slide. Like I, just, <laughs> I could not stay up. I could not stay up. So yeah, I did the, you know, I did a runway event. It was like a designer that was obviously showing some of their pieces. Um I, I, I have quite a few friends that um that that are really big designers, mainstream designers as well, and do the the New York Fashion Week and LA Fashion Week thing. And so they asked me to model for them and I busted my ass like straight up like it was <laughs> and when i wish it was cute like i didn't... <laughs> 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 there must be a video of that somewhere surely Stop. <laughs> No, no, don't bring it up. No, <laughs> no. It's being sold to TMZ as we speak. Like, <laughs> no. so we've kind of touched on it, touched on it a couple of times. But what what sort of advice would you give to somebody who is considering taking the plunge uh, in in tight to, to well, latex fashion? Maybe someone who's been nervous about doing it or they, they they feel there's some sort of barrier what 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 would your top advice be to them oh, go for it life is for living always anything if there's something that you want to do if there's something that you're scared of and you're nervous about or you don't know what it's going to be like that is the first thing that you need to do wake up in the morning and do that because that's what's going to bring you the most joy that's what's going to uplift your spirit that's what you deeply most want to do in your heart. A uh, fear and a hope, they're usually very closely related. So if you're interested in wearing lane tags, if you want to try the material, try it out. Try it out with something small. Try it out with a little accessory. Try it out with a little latex call. As we were talking about gloves earlier yeah. uh, in today's session, you know, 
Um, just try it out. And you'd be amazed actually by how much people really will embrace you and people and you'll embrace the material actually. Um, it, it's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. It's nothing to feel daunted by, by any means. And um, if anything, you know, what I really hope people remember is that it's an elevated material. It's a luxury material. Yeah. It is. It's. It's. It, yeah. When I put on latex, I know that I'm wearing something special that day, and I think that. I mean, who doesn't want to feel that way? Yeah. You know, ex- exclusive of the latex, exclusive of the material, exclusive of connotations or what have you. Yeah. Who doesn't want to feel like they wore something really special that day? You know. Yeah, so definitely. Think about it that way. Just try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. good latest clothing advice. And that's good life advice there from Jinnah. You know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always been like a little daredevil, or, or I have like a little daredevil little streak in me. Or, or <laughs> I, you know, I just, I just believe in going for it. I totally do. I think maybe that's why, um, you know, I've been blessed to be successful as an influencer because yeah. that's the number one thing i guess that you kind of need just to fucking go for it yeah <laughs> yeah definitely definitely do it do, 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 do before you regret it it's uh yeah um what uh what upcoming projects are you going to be involved in what uh, what little sneak peeks can you give us over the next few weeks and months Ooh, la, la. So, as I said, I have lots of exciting stuff to share with you guys. So, um, I did tell you that, yes, I'm going to resume posting. I know you guys have probably been missing out on all my super hot videos and pictures. I know you miss me. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, too. That's what I'm trying to say. I miss you, too. So, um, what, what's been happening? I've been busy shooting content. I've been busy, busy editing content. I've been, bu- awesome. I've been busy building up a whole treasure trove for you guys so i never have to take a break we never have to be apart ever again so um <laughs> i have lots of wonderful new youtube videos that are going to be posted literally next month this is the start of september it rolls around and i also have this very exciting um new connection as i mentioned coming up with eden wear latex so definitely look yeah. out for that guys if you're looking for more discounts on fabulous latex clothing um other stuff that's on the way like right oh oh and i'm also working apprenticing with a uh, black licorice latex as well okay. so i'll yeah. also be teaching you guys some more about latex crafting and what goes into actually a latex brand and some of these Girl. high-end celebrity latex brands in los angeles in case awesome. you want a little bit more awesome. in-depth info um and you know just in terms of me and the projects that i'm working on as i said i'm definitely really really busy this year uh writing and working on a script for a feature length film so currently i'm working on a series of three vignettes all focusing on just different ways that people experience or using latex clothing as a catalyst for a variety of different experiences in the mm, LA kind of underground <laughs> lifestyle <laughs> scene. Yeah. So um, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about um, sharing something a little bit more cinematic and scripted with you. Um, and until that pops off, until you have something wonderful and juicy to dig into there, uh i've also been choreographing a little dance short for you guys that definitely will be released by the end of this year so you'll get to see me dance awesome. guys which that's what you really want to see all this other shit that's been a waste of time <laughs> <laughs> we're here for the dancing <laughs> Turns out, not at all later. It's really for the best. <laughs> well, we uh, well, we'll we'll look forward to seeing those that without a doubt. Yeah, can't wait for that. That sounds uh, that sounds really fun. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. definitely, definitely. Just wanting to create more cool stuff for you guys, and as I said, more uh, imaginative ways for people to interact with with latex and to experience its beauty. So. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I, well, I think that's uh, I think that's a, a great place to uh, to stop our chat, and as much as I'm sure we could carry on for the next three hours, um, just give everyone a, a reminder of, of of where they can find you online. You know, to watch your, your websites and socials and. 
Oh, absolutely. Okay. So if you are looking for me, the first place to go to is in latex.com. That is I N L A T E X dot com. And you'll find all of my links as well as all of my fantastic video reviews and a way to become a VIP member so you never have to miss out on the most fabulous, hottest, shiniest, sexiest latex content there is. Um, then outside of that, if you guys are checking for me on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook as well, all you have to do is look for my name. Um, I'm not going to spell it out for you because I don't think that's going to help. Just look <laughs> <laughs> It's we'll, my name. It's we'll at Jamil links, Corinne. We'll links below in the in the, in the, the description. Links, yeah, yeah, just look in the description. You know, copy paste this one. It's going to be too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was talking to my mom the other day, and she was like looking at my YouTube videos. I was like asking her about the final cut, and she was like, she was like, I don't know, you know, the name from the website. It's too hard to read. You know, Corinne, I can't read it. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're saying this like it's my editor's fault. If your fault, I'm like, <laughs> you're telling me like he needs to do something to fix it. He can't fix when you quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's youtube.com slash at Janelle Corinne. And also on Instagram, it's at Janelle Corinne. Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Janelle Corinne, full stop latex. Um, yeah, but if you just, honestly, if you Google my name, then you'll find me everywhere. <laughs> I'm not hiding, guys. <laughs> well, well, we'll make sure we do that. That's uh, that's fab. <laughs> Cheers to Janelle. It's been um, fantastic to speak to you. Really, really fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks for your time. And Thank we'll, you. Uh, it's been a huge pleasure. We'll speak again soon, I'm sure. Of course. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I had a wonderful time in the shiny sofa. And... Thank you, thank you, thank you to Latex 24-7. You're amazing. Great to see. I'm afraid that's all we have time for on this episode of The Shining Sofa. Many thanks to our special guest, Janelle Corrin, for being with us today. We hope you found The Shining Sofa comfy and will join us again next time. Be sure to check out today's sponsor, PolishYourLatex.com and remember to use coupon code COUCH for 15% of all orders. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button wherever you listen to your podcast and be sure to head over to latex247.co.uk for all latest latex fashion news and reviews.